Your A's get your A's, your boys are back here with another video and in this video today guys we're going to be going over and talking about each and every one of the five new cards coming to NBA 2K23, my team, and why I am actually somewhat excited for the end game drop in a general tomorrow. Now, before we dive into it again, smash that subscribe button on the road towards 120,000 subscribers. So it all starts at the top. Let's start with Will Chamberlain, okay? I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I personally, me personally, believe Will Chamberlain is the greatest player of all time. And people are going to, oh, Ty, he played versus Plumbers. Okay, let me ask you this. Did Will have all the advanced technology that today's players do? No. Will went out there and was a physical specimen. Nobody could be, a, nobody was able to compete with him. You can say, oh, Bill Russell dogged him, man. Bill Russell didn't do anything. Bill Russell just played with three other Hall of Famers. But eh, whatever, that's besides the point. Anyways, my goat, Will, coming tomorrow. Also, to get a shooting guard, Jason Tatum, endgame card, who, I, I mean, look, right now, my favorite shooting guard in the game is Paul George. So I think JT could have definitely potential there. J.R. Smith point guard card going to look very similar to what Kobe as well as, um, so you got Kobe and MJ. J.R. Smith is going to be very similar to them. And then Invincible Clay Thompson, who at 6'6", depending on his six, could be really fun to use. And I think the slept on player is going to be 6'10", Blake Griffin. Now, why do I think Blake is going to be slept on? I think a lot of it has to do with his player model and player build. If you haven't ever really played with Blake or used Blake before, he's got probably the largest player model for his size in my team. And I'm not talking about his wingspan. I mean, he is built wide. So as far as, you know, defensive players, Blake might be one of the best on-ball defenders in the entire game. So with Clay Thompson, let's, let's do this, okay? Clay all year long has had cards that are okay. I mean, even his last card that could only play shooting guard was really solid in my opinion because he could kind of move, could run your offense. This Clay, I'm intrigued to see what release they're going to give him because I doubt they keep the Clay Thompson base. Expect something different, whether it's KPJ, whether it's O'Shea. I mean, expect something to be different with it. Could even see like, who knows, like a Karis LeVert type base, whatever they give him. Uh, but I'm hoping for KPJ. And I'd honestly, when I, I don't know what the Clay upper necessarily is like as far as speed, but KPJ, Clay upper would be cool to keep that kind of Clay Thompson type of feel. And again, he's 6'6", so his movement is going to be really solid solid in my team and from top to bottom if you are a big golden state warriors fan clay could be a lot of fun coming tomorrow in my team top to the other invincible blake griffin if you are wondering ty where are the other cards well season eight cards stay the same uh from friday to friday so the season eight cards we got last week are going to be the season eight cards we get this week so poku those type of guys are back blake griffin again I think what gets lost with Blake Griffin is, oh, but Ty, he always has a bad release. Well, that's true, but Blake's going to see a new release with this card. Now, again, what is that release going to be like? How, I mean, how good is it? I don't necessarily know. That's kind of what we've got to find out with Blake. Because other than that, I mean, his player model is going to be wide. And if his catch and shoot release is really good... I think you can make the argument Blake's going to be one of the best small forwards in the entire game. I mean, 6'10", sure, you might want a guy at 7'2", like a Bull Bull, or even a guy like Chet that is a little bit taller. But Blake has, I, I don't want to compare him to Braun, but has that wide player build similar to Braun, and at that small forward position is going to be incredible. Now, movement-wise, I don't expect Blake to do too much. I mean, his dribble sigs are going to be good, but again, he has a wide player model, so he's probably not going to move that well. I don't know. I I'm really intrigued to see what Blake is going to give you on the court and again at that small forward position I have high hopes for Blake Griffin in my team end game Jason Tatum the way I would phrase it right now is why is Paul George better than KD at the shooting guard position it's because his movement's better right and so it's it, 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 it you got to find the in-between stage of guys that not only move well but guys that are tall enough to play and I don't know if 6'9 is that magic number but I love Magic Johnson too Braun is really good as well What's Jason Tatum's movement going to be like as an endgame at 6'8"? That's the big question. Because obviously you're looking at the KPJ with Sadiq Bay upper. A very, very quick upper. Almost probably too quick in my team. But at 6'8", his movement should be better than Paul George. Should be better than KD. And again, 
I, I, I have high hopes for Jason Tatum. Is he going to be better to run at the shooting guard than a Jimmy Butler or a Luka? Again, that's a debate to be had. But if you are a big Boston Celtics fan, I mean, Jason Tatum is going to be one of the best shooting guards in the entire game. And you're not going to be able to argue against it. We'll save Will for last as I talked about him kind of briefly first. But J.R. Smith, point guard, what do you see in Kobe? What do you see in Brian? That's what you're going to see with J.R. Smith. Now, again, player model might be a little bit different. But as far as his movement, as far as his release, all of those things are going to be relatively similar. Now, some people will stand up there and debate right now that Kobe is their favorite primary ball handler in the entire game. So, you know, you got Luka, you got, you know, Giannis, you got all these guys, T-Mac, Tim Thomas. People will argue that they like Kobe Bryant at the shooting guard position or even point guard, whatever, more than JR or more, more, more than anybody else in my team. And so J.R. Smith could give you another kind of side to that. Now, all of these other end games are going to lose some of their value because a guy like MJ, a guy like Kobe, when a guy like J.R. Smith comes out, he's basically a copy and paste type of card of that. So that's kind of what to look at with J.R. Smith. I mean, I always like J.R. Smith cards in my team. Still wish his upper was a little bit different just to keep that same type of feel, stuff like that. Now, again, J.R. Smith going to have all the end game six. So as, as far as a copy and paste from Kobe to MJ, that is what J.R. Smith is going to give you. Now, Will Chamberlain, last but certainly not least, 7-1 center power forward. Now, people argue Kareem as being one of the top bigs in my team. I think Wilt's going to be up there for argument too. Now, again, do I think Wilt's going to be better than Shaq? I think so because I think his player model is definitely going to be that good. It's weird that he's wearing a 76ers uni and then it's the Warriors, but it, it is what it is. You know, I'm not going to get too in depth with that. But one thing I, with Will is, you know, you know what you're getting, right? His player motto is always fantastic. He's going to have all of the end game six. And I'm going to tell you what, guys, between Will, between Kareem, between, I mean, even a guy, let's say like Shaq, a lot of it is going to be preference based. Now, all, is he going to be as good as Yao? Is he going to be as good as Manute? Those type of guys. It's just hard because, I mean, Will can't grow to be 7'6". I mean, he's going to be 7'1 tomorrow. So that's the only thing I, I would kind of just encourage you guys to think about is Will compared to Kareem, I think is going to be close. But yeah, I think he's going to be better than a guy like Joel Embiid. I think he's going to be better than a guy like a Bill Russell, right? Than a, those types of guys. But again, there is a limit to how good Wilt can be. Again, expect eventually on a Friday for us to probably get Yao, Manute, maybe Taco in the future. So as, as far as spending $50 on any of these cards, please don't, man. Please don't. You can save up for 2K24. Say I'm excited about this Tuesday drop. I mean, I am personally because I do think JT is going to be good. I think Wilt's going to be fantastic. And even Blake Griffin definitely has my interest, guys. That's going to wrap it up. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Never bless that.